What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is about PlayStation Now, uh, Sony's flagship PlayStation rental service. I guess that's how you can describe it. If you have a uh, PlayStation console, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 4, Windows PC, or a Sony Bravia TV, you have access to PlayStation Now. And basically what it is is you can pay $44 for a three month period and you have access to over 300 PlayStation 3 titles. It's very valuable for people who have a very limited time or people who don't have a lot of space uh, for video games and who just want to just kind of jump from game to game and enjoy it in a three month period of time. I uh, tried it out. I think it's a pretty decent service. Uh, it, it did not lag me out, believe it or not. It played pretty well. But I have so many games, I really don't need to rent any games, but I'm sure that this service is very valuable for a lot of gamers, and you might be one of them. Uh, unfortunately, Sony has decided that not everyone deserves this uh, flagship service. Not everybody needs PlayStation Now, and unfortunately, they are really backpedaling and removing a lot of functionality from pretty much every device <laughs> for PlayStation Now within the next six months. I'll drop a link in the description. Sony plans to make PlayStation Now exclusive to PC and PS4. PlayStation Now won't work for PS3, PS Vita, PS TV, or Smart TV users in six months. If you're, if you're a PlayStation Now user that doesn't actually own a PS4, get ready to cancel your subscription. Sony just announced that its cloud gaming service is going to drop support for everything but its flagship console and Windows PC users later this year. On August 15, 2017, PlayStation Now will stop functioning on PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, and PlayStation TV, as well as Sony's Bravia TVs. Even Sony Blu-ray players and all Samsung TVs with the access will have it stripped. Wow. That's a lot of devices to drop, but Sony is optimistic about this choice, explaining in a blog post that it will help it build a better user experience for the remaining two platforms, which are PC and PS4. The choice makes some sense from a development standpoint between all between all the TV and Blu-ray player support. PlayStation Now was spread pretty thin across a huge list of supported devices. Still, it's a move that might feel like a gut punch to some users. PlayStation Now's wide device support meant players could pick up PS3 games on their Vita, on their PS4, or potentially on any screen in their house. Now that accessibility is limited to whoever has Windows, uh, Windows machine or a PS4. It's a bummer. Still, Sony has given users enough advance warning for PS3 and Vita users to finish up any games they're playing and make sure their subscriptions are canceled within the next six months. Unfortunately, buyers of last year's Bravia TVs don't have quite as wide a window. Any Bravia TV made after 2015 will have its service discontinued on April 1st. That's a huge bummer. Wow. Um, I don't use this service. Uh, to me, the PlayStation Now service is for a very particular audience, a very particular gamer. Uh, people who do a lot of traveling, people who don't have a lot of space, people who don't uh, really collect games and probably feel nostalgic or want to go back and play stuff from the PlayStation 3 library. It's very valuable for people who are really into that. It's like the Netflix of video games. I don't know if it's really smart for Sony to take it away from so many different devices though. Uh, there's over 80 million PS3s out there. I know that a lot of PS3 owners now own PS4s. There's 56 million PS4s sold. But there's probably at least 20 to 25 million PS3s out there exclusively in households where people have it upgraded to 8th generation consoles. And this kind of service would really benefit those people if they're really into it. Maybe Sony's losing money on the back end by having this service out there on so many devices. Who knows? Um, they're keeping it on PC. So Windows PC, of course, and PS4. Sony Bravia TV. Oh, that's wrong. To me, that's really jacked up. Uh, to take it away from people who just bought your TV. The Sony Bravia TVs are pretty expensive. They're more expensive and they're not as high end as some other TVs, but their price is very, very high end. And for people to lose that kind of functionality to me is it's pretty messed up. Well, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Sony removing PlayStation Now from a plethora of devices, everything but uh, PlayStation 4 and Windows 10 PCs. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you use PlayStation Now? Uh, I used it temporarily. I thought it was pretty good. Like I said, it didn't lag me out. It actually played pretty well, but I have so many games. It's really pointless for me to rent anything. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, share your videos, 
and you can support the channel at beastlygamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Sure. Take off.